In its very first form, Gladiator Resolve was a talent only for protection warriors, which would passively increase the damage reduction of defensive stance by 5%, which was pretty nice, and it also replaced your battle stance with a new stance called Gladiator Stance. You could only change it to Gladiator Stance out of combat, and when you went into Gladiator Stance, it would replace your Shield Block ability with the new Shield Charge ability, and also increase the physical damage you dealt by 20%. Now, the damage a Prot Warrior could deal on Gladiator Stance was literally on par with the regular DPS specs they had, Arms and Fury. In fact, it did more single target damage than Arms did, because while in Gladiator Stance, it also basically converted all of your damage mitigation stats into damage dealing ones. During Warlords of Draenor, there was a short-lived stat called Bonus Armor, which was normally on tank pieces of equipment and trinkets, and was supposed to just provide you an armor boost, but with Gladiator Stance it was a straight damage boost, and was such a good conversion rate that it was their second best stat, providing about 40% more damage per point than any other secondary stat in the game. And while in Gladiator Stance, they still kept their other defensive cooldowns from protection, like Last Stand, Shield Wall, and Shield Barrier, which the other two DPS specs could not use, so it was actually very strong at the beginning of the expansion in PvP and PvE. Definitely helped along by their new Shield Charge ability, which gave them an additional mini charge they could use two times every 15 seconds. And their Glyph of Shield Slam, which allowed their Shield Slam ability to purge one magical effect every time they used a normal rotational ability on something. Their single target was incredibly good, beating out arms most of the time, but still falling behind both of the Fury rotations, because it had a few little downsides. Namely, the lack of any kind of true DPS cooldown. Pretty much all of the cooldowns they had were defensive base, and if they wanted to pick up a DPS cooldown, they had to take a talent. And also, they lacked good AoE, where their damage was significantly worse than the other two DPS specs whenever any kind of multiple targets came into the picture. Although for being an off spec of the tank spec, that's still incredibly good. With Gladiator Stance, it completely did away with the issue of having to gear up an off spec if you didn't want to do anything but tank, because it was just so good on its own. And that hasn't really been a thing for the other tank specs. All of them have to have at least some DPS trinkets and rings to swap out into, but not Gladiator Stance, since it directly converted defensive stance into offensive ones. But this first version of Gladiator Stance was kind of overpowered. It could basically do everything and wasn't really bad at anything but AoE. And even then, that's not really even a big deal. So eventually, they had to nerf the ability a little bit. In its next form, they lowered the amount of physical damage increase it gave by about 75%. So, it would only increase your damage by 5% instead of 20%. Then they changed it to increase your mastery by 50% to kind of compensate, as the mastery for protection wars in World of the Draenor would increase their chance to block and critically block, as well as provide an attack power boost. So it allowed them to make use of another stat that wasn't super valued for them, which still allowed them to be competitive on the DPS meters, since the mastery did increase the damage a little bit, which was amplified by their newer gladiator stance. Definitely not as good as a flat 20% damage increase, but that's because the original one was a little bit too good, and it basically kept all of its other iterations. The only thing that changed was the amount of flat damage the stance provided. Then in Legion, Blizzard was going to remove all stances from warriors from the game, that way they no longer had to stance stance in order to use certain abilities. And with them removing stances, they also just removed the talent to Gladiator's Resolve. Gladiator's stance originally made sense, as DPS with a sword and shield has been an extremely common sight on the battlefields throughout all of human history. And this was the only time you could kind of do that in game in that intended way. Although having zero deviation between the best items for tanking and damage was kind of a big deal, so it makes sense in a way why they didn't try to balance that. Gladiator Stance was actually pretty loved by the warrior community, so they weren't too happy that it was taken away. Although pretty much all classes got some kind of major redesign in Legion, so it didn't really stand out that much from anything else that was going on at the time. Alright, and that's the video. Anything I missed about Gladiator Stance? Or do you have ideas for future videos just like this one? If so, I'd love to hear about them down in the comments.